We are back with Trevor Noah. So do you watch, uh, I, I know, and I also saw you talk about on the news that you can't watch the news that much because it's too depressing. You watch in the morning, you get a little recap at night, but you must be having to keep up with it for your show. Yes, I keep up I keep up with information, but I think people must be careful about what they watch to like as news. You know, one thing that is an unfortunate byproduct of having 24 hour news in America is they'll always fool the news. And so I always warn people, I go like, be careful not to just watch the news all the time because the news can make it seem like everything is going wrong because the news's job is to report the things that are going wrong. And so, you know, whether it's chicken or the egg or egg or the chicken, it's either way, you're only going to be getting bad news. So I think you should be careful to ration how much news you watch. And so that's what I try and do. I try and read as much as possible. I try and, and ascertain like what's actually happening in the world. But um, I, think it's, I think it's good to have perspective. I think it's good to live in a world of nuance where we say, yes, something bad can be happening, but it's not the worst thing because we're helping it not become the worst thing. And hopefully on the other side of this, we realize that we're better off because we treated it seriously as opposed to not taking it seriously and then regretting it afterwards. So that's all I'm trying to do in my world. Process the news, make jokes about it, give it to my audience, and, and hopefully have people a little more informed and just feeling a little bit better about what they're watching, you know, because it's, it's not all bad news. Yeah, no, no, it, it's not. And, you know, what you're doing is really important. And, uh, and then I do something that is just ridiculously silly. Uh, and Which have is a, equally a guy important. Standing. Well, yeah, Which is equally I mean, important. yes. For sure. And, and I talked to, to Gavin Newsom and I'm talking to people to help spread the word on some things that are important. And I know, you know, obviously that's that's mainly what you do. So what are your thoughts on Sanders dropping out and endorsing Biden? Um, I think it's great to see the Democrats moving together in unison. I was I was I was really happy to see that. And I was also I was also really happy to see Biden specifically say, hey, we're going to be engaging Bernie's policies. I'm going to look at what we can do to bring in more of his people, because I think it's important for leaders to realize you're not just the leader of the people who voted for you. You're the leader of everyone that you end up leading. And, and so um, in many ways, I think of it like being a parent. You know, you have your kids. And then when your kid has a birthday party, there's all these other kids who are going to come to your house. And they're not your kids, but you should treat them with the same love and respect that you would your kids because they're in your house. And I think that's what a president is doing. You have all these kids in your house and hopefully you're giving them the best love and care that they need. Uh, you should know Ellen doesn't allow kids in her house. <laughs> that's, 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 that's why I'm not a politician or a parent. <laughs> I don't want them. Um, I've never been happier because I'm hearing all these parents go, oh my God, I'm homeschooling and I don't know anything about like, they're, they were just counting on the teachers to, to you know, teach their kids, and now they have to learn how to teach their kids at home. And I can't even, I can't imagine anything harder than yeah. having to and teach. If anybody deserves, you if anybody deserves more money, it's def I think those are two professions that we're learning to appreciate now more than ever. It's teachers, and it's people who work in jobs that people haven't considered essential and yet now are. You know, people who work in grocery stores. People work on farms producing our food. We couldn't stay at home if it weren't for them. And so once we have these conversations again about how much people should get paid as a minimum wage, and once we have conversations again about teachers getting paid, I hope every parent remembers this moment in time when their kids go back to school. No, I absolutely, I, I think everybody feels the same way, that it's going to be all these people that that you really underappreciated. Trevor, you call yourself a Cuomosexual, and I... I I agree with you. I feel like I'm a homosexual too. Yeah, I think um, it's been really, it genuinely has been very inspiring and and refreshing to see uh, a leader like Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, who's come out and engaged his briefings in a non-political way. He's engaged them as a leader. He's engaged them as a human being. He's also taken blame for things where he says, "Look, I understand that I'm doing certain things." that people are going to hate me for, and I'm willing to make these decisions because I think it's the best thing for human life first. We can always we can always create business afterwards. I, I think he's been informative. I think he's been informed. And like once I saw people online falling in love with him, there's a group of women who came out and they said, we, we're falling in love with Cuomo. And I said, well, yeah, everyone, everyone should be a Cuomo sexual in that way. Like you should love a leader who engages the people and remembers that they're serving the people as opposed to, you know, the people working for them. So 
any leader who's doing that in a crisis, I applaud them. The bar for leaders these days is very low. We just want someone to tell us the truth. That's all we're asking. Just tell us the truth. And if you do that, you're a great leader. Well, well I mean, he's, a, that, that he's exceptional, yeah. though. I mean, I think that Governor Cuomo is, and, and Chris, his brother, God bless him. I, I love him so much. I think everyone is just falling in love with people who are doing their jobs the way they should right now. People are falling in love with governors, whether it's Newsom, whether it's Cuomo, you know. Uh, people people are falling in love with, with, with Dr. Fauci. He's just a doctor who's doing his thing. Like, people try and make it seem like he has an agenda. He wants this, he wants that. No, he's a doctor. He gives you the information, and then the leaders do with the information as they please. And I think it's exciting to see people wanting to just do their jobs well. That's a really cool thing to see. Yeah. Um, I love talking to you, and uh, I, I miss you, and I will see you whenever we get to see each other again. Stay safe. The Daily Show airs weeknights at 11 on Comedy Central. Uh, thank you so much, Trevor. Thank you so much for having me. And stay safe out there, Andy. Please don't break any more plants. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,